All right, so Tuesday, June 22nd is the launch for the Africa Pack and Update 1.6. As with any large updates, any mods you are using are probably going to break. Actually, this is not probably at this point. They're going to break. Um, we have pretty much confirmation at this point. Stuff's going to break. We're going to have to get them all updated. Now, you got to understand us modders, we're, we're just human beings like you. We have jobs, we have lives, we have stuff going on. We have content to make, all that. Um, yeah, it, it's going to take a little bit of time to get our mods updated. We're going to try as hard as possible to get them done really fast. Um, a few folks who already have some code who are working on patches and a way to update everything very quickly on Tuesday. But please bear with us. Now, you have a couple of options here when you wait. Uh, waiting for mods to get updated. If you want to use that particular zoo that you have modded animals in before the mods are updated, uh, updated, you have to remove them. You have to go in, remove all the modded animals out of the habitats and out of the trade centers. If you have them in the trade centers, the trade center will crash the game when you open it. So what's going to happen? You'll have to remove the old mods from your OVL data folder and download the new 1.6 compatible version from the Nexus. So, you also you have a couple of options in removing your modded animals. In theory, when you delete the 1.5 compatible mod out of your OVL folder and replace it with the 1.6 compatible mod that you download off the Nexus on Tuesday or Wednesday, you should automatically be able to hop back into your zoo and any animals you had in the habitat should be fine. In theory. In practice, this may not actually work. So you have a couple of options. You can go into each and every one of your zoos that has modded animals in it and remove them completely. Again, remove them from the habitat and then go into your animal, uh, animal trading and sell, release, or otherwise get rid of them out of that clear out your zoos. Now, if you have like a long going zoo, you have a challenge mode thing or something where you have some animals in there that you're really attached to and you don't necessarily want to see them go, you can make an unmodded backup of that zoo just in case. So let's hop into some of my sandbox zoos here and take a look at how I'm going to go ahead and do this. So first off, okay, mod test. I'm, I'm going to do that one last because that, uh, yeah, that one I'm going to go ahead and make an unmodded backup of because I just want to, um, after I update everything, I just want to see if I can get into it and <laughs> well, that'll be interesting. Um, that one doesn't have any animals. That one doesn't have any animals. This one has some animals in it and I have like a, a billion zoos in progress because I'm really ADD and all that good stuff. Wait, what did I click into? What did I click into? That this is not. Wait, what? What zoo is this? This is not. This is not what I clicked on. This is Northwest Trails. Okay, this one has no animals. Fantastic. Uh, let's get out of here and back into. Yeah, that was fun. I swear there's something wrong with my eyes or something because I I know I clicked on. Okay, high desert. That's what I want. I know this one has some odd animals in it, so we'll clear these out. We load in here. Oh yeah, this one definitely has modded animals in it. Okay. All right. First up, what do we have? Uh, what what are you? What are you? Oh, you're the ocelot. Oh, I completely forgot I had this installed. Oh my gosh. I forget who made this one. I didn't make this. This is fantastic. I, I completely forget who made this. Absolutely lovely animal. I, I love it. So what we're gonna do? We're going to get rid of him, unfortunately, so we are going to send him to the Trade Center. Move on to our next habitat over here. Oh, the mountain lions! These are actually my mountain lions. Work in progress. They're not quite ready for public consumption yet. they still got the spiky fur thing going on, um, but I like them. Uh, the juvenile also has major texture issues at the moment, which I don't particularly want to fix, so... Um, yeah, and they're still using the jaguar icons and everything, so I'm just going to select the habitat here, go to animals, and uh, we're just going to select all of these guys and pop them into the trade center real quick. Uh, what is in here? Are you just a regular jaguar? 
You're just a regular jaguar. Okay, so he can stay. Nothing, no, that's his little cave. Nothing else in here. Nothing in here. What is over in here? These are just pronghorn. Okay. So, I'm gonna go in here. I'm just gonna take a look. You can also just do this straight out of the, uh, the menu here, but it's kind of more fun to go habitat by habitat. So we just have the mountain lions and ocelots as our modern animals here. So let's get into our trade center animal storage. I'm going to take all of these and we are going to quick trade them out of the zoo. And it's sandbox, so it doesn't matter if you hit quick trade or um, or release to wild because, I mean, it's, you know, sandbox. I have the economy turned off, so getting... Uh, money or conservation credits doesn't actually matter. So those ones are done. So this zoo is now clean and ready to go. I just want to check one more time. Okay, so we have no animals in storage. The only animals we have, we have a jaguar and some pronghorn. Those are base game animals. We are going to save this one. And hop back out. So that one's done. Alright, back into sandbox. Mexican wolf test, I'm going to go ahead and leave. Um, I'll do an unwanted back of that one as well, just to make sure. Um, just, again, because I want to see if I can hop back into it. Um, make sure that it works. That one doesn't have any animal. That one doesn't have any mods. That one shouldn't have any mods. This one might. And you also have to do this for any challenge mode zoos you have. So if you're playing in challenge mode, you can use modded animals in there. What is this? I haven't worked on this one in so long. What? Oh, this is my pet and I'll exhibit in here. Okay, so there's no modded animals in here. Anything in here? Nah, it's just flamingos. God, that's a lot of flamingos. Uh, okay. Yeah, I did have modded animals over here, but I... I went ahead and tore that down because I was going to renovate that area. Okay, so there's nothing in here. Okay, this one is good. Actually, wait, wait, one thing. I want to check the Trade Center. Oh, look, look. There's my, there's some modded animals in here. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Get rid of you. So we have our mountain lion. We have a Mexican gray wolf. What else do we have in here? Um, anything else? Oh, yeah, there you are. Um, mountain lion. Let's see. Mountain lion. Mexican wolf. Okay, that should be all of them. So, oh, no, why? Oh, because it's a baby. Ah, it's the dang babies. We can't trade babies out. Oh, Shoot. Okay. <laughs> well, that's not fun. Yeah, that, so that's another thing. Um, if you have babies, you can't, um, you can't get rid of them. So you're going to have to, like, plop, uh, plop them into a habitat, raise them up, and then get rid of them. Uh, you'll just you know, turn on, like, you know, 5x feed or something. And, wait, no. Okay. So, I'm gonna have to do that later. Or maybe I'll just, yeah, I'll do that later, because I don't want to risk actually losing this one. Okay, so, save that one. Yeah, so, this is why I wanted to make a tutorial, because sometimes things like that, you don't always, you know, you don't always think of, like, do you need to check your trade center on every single one of these. Yeah, you probably do. Uh, does that one have anything in it? I don't think that one has. Oh! Tahanzu has modded animals in it. So this was my Southeast Asia pack zoo that I was making. I need to actually work on it more. I kind of got off track on it. Actually, what happened is my mom fell and broke her hip and I've been taking care of her for the last eight weeks. Um, she's finally back to almost able to do everything. I mean, not 100%. I still have to do her grocery shopping and stuff for her, but, you know, we're we're almost back to normal. So, let me get back into here. Okay, those are the Babarusa. I put singing dogs in here, didn't I? Oh, god, the frames. Oh, god, the frame rate. <laughs> it's the plants. Um, okay, where are they? There you are. Oh, we have puppies. Oh, fantastic. Okay. 
So I'm just going to kick that on to 5x. When do you grow up? Uh, pretty quick here. Yeah, so this is another one that are going to have to, again, if you have babies, you can't sell the babies. You can put them in your trade center, but then if you have modded animals in your trade center and the mods are broken, or you remove the mod, uh, your trade center will crash and you'll never be able to open it again. Okay, we're about to mature. Come on, mature all the way. I like these guys. I need to remaster these guys. Maybe redo them on the dole rig. All right, we are an adult, so I'm just gonna pause the game. So that way nobody mates. Select the habitat, go to animals. We're gonna take all of our dogs here and we are going to release to wild and just get rid of them, all of them. Okay, well that didn't work. That's annoying. Wait. <sighs> what happened? Oh, there we go. Okay, let's check the trade center. Let's make sure we don't have anything in store. Oh, yeah, we do. Uh, let's get them out. Okay, they are gone. So that's all of our modded animals into Hanzu. Yeah, this was really fun. I need to keep working on this again. Alright, so now we save it. So this one is clean. Let's let it finish doing its um, notifications, just so it doesn't freak out. Okay, I think we're good. I'm gonna save it. Save. And exit. Alright, back into here. Uh, what else do we have in here? Uh, that one, I could pr actually probably just delete that one. This is the one that, um, yeah, I can never use again, because it just crashes after like a minute. I still can't figure out why. Um, what am I looking for? Wild Mountain Lodge. This one, I think I have a couple of modded animals in here, and this is the one that I would really, really, really hate to lose, because I put so much work into this one. So we're going to do a completely, we're just going to, Get rid of all the modded animals out of this one. And this one takes a minute to load because there's so many trees. Just so many trees in this one. Yeah, this is going to take a bit. Oh, here we go, finally. Okay, where am I? So what what is in here? This is the porcupine. I still just have the red panda stand in. I need to make a porcupine. Okay. Now, what do we have? Have I replaced our bear with any... with a modded bear yet? Is there even a bear in this enclosure? Yes, there is. Okay, but he's a Formosa black bear, right? Yes. Okay, so I have not replaced him. What do we have in here? Oh, yeah. Nope, that's still a snow leopard. It's bobcat stand in. Now, in here, though, this is the mountain lion exhibit. I expect that I've put my modded mountain lions in here, but I don't see them. Do I have any animals in here? Yes, I do have animals in here. Where are you guys? Where are they? Oh, there you are. Yes. So, yep, these are mine. All right, so we are going to go ahead and uh, send these guys. Why? Why can't I click on the thing? There, that's what I want. We're going to take these guys, send them to the Trade Center. And then we'll go into the Trade Center. Take a look here. What do we have? There's some jaguars. Mountain lion, mountain lion, and mountain lion. So all of these need to go. Everything else is a frontier animal. Why? Why can't? Okay. 
Cool. So, what? Why can't I? What? Why can't I get rid of you? Seriously, why can't I get rid of this one? Oh, this is not good. This is not going to be good. Let's pop him in here and see what's wrong with him. We may have to just wait for this one to die. Do it. Wait, do I even have... What am I trying to do here? Settings. Settings, that's what I want. Do I even have animal death turned on in this zoo? Let's find out. It'll be very nice, which... Oh, yeah. Um... Okay, so we'll go ahead and turn that back on. Hope everything doesn't, like, immediately die when I do that. Come on, where... Come on, caretaker, where are you? Where are you even coming from? Oh god, they're coming from all the way over here. Yeah, it's gonna be a minute. This is... What do I have in here? Oh yeah, I have wolves in here. I have wolves over here. Oh, there they are. I almost think I want to replace these guys with the Mexican Grey Wolves. I actually want to, like, redo the entire, uh, wolf model, because I just don't like it anymore. Um, back here. Have, have, uh... What is taking so dang long? Alright, so I'm gonna just check the Trade Center again. Wait. What happened? Okay, so... Check the animal list, actually, would probably be smarter. Okay, we have a lot of bison, we have a lot of camels. One black bear, a bunch of grizzlies. There you are. You're in transit. Pronghorn. And a bunch of wolves. Okay. So it's just you that we're waiting on. There he is. Don't crash the game. Huh. Oh, you're injured. That's why. That's why I can't get rid of him. Okay. So, I'm just gonna kick this into, uh, drive here, and I'll bring you back once I can get rid of him. Alright, we're back. So, that has been dealt with. So again, if you have an injured one, you may have to treat it before you can actually get rid of it. So let's just release him to the wild. Kick him out. Alright, so now Wild Mount Lodge is clean of any sort of modded animals. So now we're going to go ahead and save it. Where are we at here? There we go. And let's go back into the menu here. So next, I'm going to show you how to do an unmodded backup of a zoo that you want to keep your modded animals in. So for this, we're going to use mod test because, I mean, yeah, I really want to just try to load into this one after I update all of my mods and see if they work without having to toss any animals back into there. So, we've got a few work, works in progress here. Uh, I actually need to show off that little guy. Uh, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, um, <laughs> my computer hates this at this point. I mean, it probably wouldn't be a terrible idea to just clean this out completely, but I, I really don't want to go through that. I really don't want to try to sell out, sell every single animal that's in here. My god, that's a lot of cats. Okay, so, what we're gonna do, we're gonna save, and we are going to go new zoo save. We're gonna go mod test, no mods, because that makes sense, right? We're gonna save it, we're gonna load, and we're going to load. Now, I'm going to go in and actually just try to get rid of everything. 
So, the problem being, doing it this way, is that I have so many babies. All of the babies. Uh, hmm. Okay, I really wish we could disable aging and birth separately. Because what I need to do is grow up, raise up all the babies to be able to sell them without having more breed. Okay, so the way to get around that, I'm just going to go into here. Animals, um, yeah. We're going to... Can I just select all? Why, why can't I select all? Seriously, I can't select all in here. Jesus. Okay. Mm -hmm. Really, I can't... There's no option to select all. Okay, Frontier, add, a, add an option to select all, please. Like... Uh, okay. Alright, we're just gonna do it this way. We're gonna give every single animal contraceptives to make them stop breeding. Every single one out of 119 that are in here. Good lord. This is going to take a minute. Yeah, I really do actually just need to empty this out completely. But again, to empty this out completely, I still have to go through this. I really hope with the new sandbox settings that um, be able to make this go a little bit easier. Of course, I won't be able to use the new sandbox settings in this zoo until I actually get all of the mods updated. Alright, moving on down. There may be an easier way to do this, actually, through the, uh, through the menus on the habitat gate. I just thought of that. But... Okay, we're done. So, every animal has been given contraceptives. We're going to unpause, and we're just going to let this go maximum speed. And while we're in here, uh, actually, let's just go... Hmm. Alright, let's go through this menu here, which will be easier. Yes, Bengal Tiger. Okay. Select all. Released wild. How many do we get rid of? Not enough. Ventron, can we just get rid of you guys? Pop them all into the Trade Center. Honey Badger, do we have juveniles in here? Or do we just have... Oh, I think we just have... Uh, let's see if we can get rid of all of these. No? I can't get rid of just all of them at once? Alright, Trade Center. White Nose Quadis. These guys have not bred yet. Alright, go. Trade Center. Uh, coyotes. Do we have juvenile coyotes? Actually, we don't have any juvenile coyotes. Trade Center. Doles. Do we have juvenile doles? Actually, it doesn't look like we do right now. Um, send them all to the Trade Center. What are these? Our gray foxes. So this is another one of my works in progress. Trade Center. Ryu. Malayan Tiger. Yes, we have juveniles, so we're going to leave those. Mountain Lion. Do I have juveniles? Yes, we have juveniles of them. 
Mexican Grey Wolf. I'm sure we have juveniles. Actually, we don't right now. Okay, cool. All of you go in the Trade Center. We have Juvenile Singing Dog. And these are all my mods. I don't have any um, mods from other people installed in here. This is just where I test mine. Uh, Scimitar or Oryx. Do we have Young from that one? We do. We have a Calf. So we'll let that one grow up. Small Clot Otter. Do we have babies? We have some babies. And the Sumatran Tiger. We have some juveniles on those. Okay, I'm just going to let everything grow up. From here, though, let's go into the Trade Center. Okay, so I can't just get rid of them all at once, of course. Oh, that's annoying. I wish it would just... The filter options in this screen should only show the animals that are available in here. That's just my note to Frontier. Okay. Let's see what you can do. With that click. Alright. Out. Gray foxes. Trade. Okay, why can't I? Oh, it's probably these ones. There we go. The old ones, you probably have to why rehome them. And then rehome. And I can't rehome multiple animals at once, really. Uh, coyotes. Quick trade. I missed one. So. Again, this just takes time. You just have to go through. Oh, great. Those are juveniles. Ugh. Okay, so I do have juveniles in here. Um, fun. Throw them back in. Yeah, I do have juvenile binturongs. Great. Throw them back in. Probably don't need to toss them all in, but, you know, whatever. The Emerald Leopard, man, I need to read. Oh, yeah, that that's fun. That's 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 not not a good thing. So, what was happening there is as animals get pulled out, it refreshes the damn screen and unselects anything that you have selected. Not fun. Don't like it. Needs to not be a thing, Frontier. Okay, Trade Center's currently cleaned out. Uh, we're just going to wait for everything to mature in here. So, what I will do is bring you back once everything has matured and we can get rid of everything else. Alright, welcome back. So, that took a good 20 minutes, but everything in here... Let's pause that. Everything in here has finally matured. Where am I going? Here we go. So, let's do this actually from... The habitat menu, I think it'll be easier. We'll start with the manual tiger. Trade center. Binturong. Trade center. Honey badger. You'll see more of these guys later, actually very soon in the Lion Riders uh, safari pack. I actually can't wait to show those guys off because they turned out great. Uh, Malayan tiger. Mountain lion. It'd actually probably be better if I just unpause that. Small cloud otter, that's another mod that I need to finish and get out. Um, where are we at here? Singing dog. Ever leopard. Why? Why why can't I send you to the trade center? Okay. We'll we'll release you then. Now you go to the trade center. Oh, it's probably full. Red Wolf. Yeah, it's it's full. Fantastic. Okay, so a couple of you could go out. Click. There we go. And Scimitar Horned Oryx. Release as many of you to the wild as we can. 
Oh, that's fantastic. So the trade center's full. Um, yeah, 49. Great. Oh, God, I can't even quick trade you guys. All right, there we go. Get some of those out. Now they can go to the Trade Center and get as many of those out as possible. All right, that is cleaned out. Holy crap, and my frame rates have gone back up to 60. Now we get to do this the fun way. Get as many of these quick traded out of here as possible. Okay, so we do have select all in this, but yeah, okay. No, 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 no. That no, 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 don't you dare put them no, god damn it. Okay. Well that was the wrong thing to do. Let's rehome. Cool, rehome. Go away. Trade Center. And... No! <laughs> no! Oh no. Oh no. No. <laughs> Why? Why? No, okay. Oh god, okay. Yep, cancel. Cancel move. Cancel move. Cancel move. Okay. No. No more. Don't you dare put any more in here. Don't you dare put any more back in here. Okay. Let's try it again. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, that's great. So, could have screwed up that. Uh, yeah. Don't put more in here. Okay, I don't think they're putting more in here anymore. Trade Center. Trade Center. What's left? Release. Okay. We have no animals in here anymore. Okay. Let's not screw up and... Do that again. So let's sort everything by age. And take our... Okay, so it's not gonna- that didn't work. Oh, just sort it by species. Okay, we'll go like this. Quick trait. Why was it doing that? Seriously, I don't know why it was doing that. That's just not fun. Not okay. I don't like it. There we go. I actually don't need to get rid of the Ventrong and stuff like that, but I'm just going to get everything out of here because I just don't want to sort through it. Oh, why can't I quick trade you? Why? Because something needs to be rehomed. Huh. Yeah, there we go. Alright, what's wrong with you? Rehome. It's too old to be traded. That's really annoying, and I... Again, really? Rehome. Are we really down to the- Yes, rehome it. It's sandbox. It, I don't need a dialog box confirming that it's going to cost money to rehome an animal because I've unlimited money. That's really annoying. Okay, let's get rid of these guys. Okay, so we have- We have no animals in the suit. Okay. This is clean. So, we've scrubbed this. We've made it go away. Now we save it. So this is our unmodded backup. This is how you make the unmodded backup. So, do this. Either remove all your modded animals out of your main zoo, or remove your modded... Uh, make an unmodded backup and remove your animals out of that backup. But do this before Tuesday. So do it today, do it tomorrow. Don't wait till Tuesday morning. 
because you might try to load into something that gets all messed up and you can never load into it again. Such as... Okay, so I'm going to save this. I'm just going to save this one more time, such as my Northern Light Suit. I'd actually like to mess with that again, because it was coming along kind of cool. But, you know, it's completely broken. Where is it here? I'm not going to bother with that. Okay, there is one more thing here, because I do actually have a challenge suit that I was messing with that I think I have some mods in. So we have to clear out your challenge suits as well. So if you have any of those, franchise, it doesn't matter, you can't use modern animals in franchise. What do I have in here? Wait. What do I have in here? Okay. I thought I had Mexican Grey Wolves in here. I don't have Mexican Grey Wolves in here. I do, however, have Scimitar Horned Oryx. So we have to get them out. Animal storage. Unpause the game. Do I really not have... Huh. In transit to vet surgery. Uh, yeah. That's fun. That's fun. Okay. So I'm gonna get these cleared out. So, that's the gist of how you clear out all of your zoos of your modded animals. Just make sure any sandbox, any challenge zoos you think you may have put a modded animal in, check it, remove it, make a backup. You should be making backups anyways. Now, let's get out of here. I'll deal with this one later. Let's get out of here and get into our OVL data folder. But this is where all of your mods live. So what you want to do is take everything except your content and game main folders and delete them. You're going to have to remove them anyways. Now for me, I'm going to go ahead and remove this. That was the Ocelot mod. I'm going to remove the Mesh Fence mod because that's going to be obsolete. All of the rest here, though... I'm not going to remove them because I'm going to update them. What I'm going to do is back them up somewhere. I'm going to make a new folder. We're going to call this 1.6 mod backup just so that I can keep copies of them just in case. And I'm going to paste them in. For you, uh, I recommend just delete them straight out of the OVL folder, but only, only do that when you are 100% sure that you have removed every instance of that modded animal from all of your zoos. Because if you try to go to load into a zoo with the mods removed, it will crash. It will crash immediately. And you may be able to get back into it. That one, uh, the mod coons, that is the modded raccoon from another modder. I'm just going to go ahead and remove that one because, uh, just because I'm not going to be, you know, updating somebody else's mod, probably. Um, uh, get back into it. Why am I in that? There we go. Steam maps. Common. Planet Zoo. There we go. 164. OVL data. Uh, I just want to, where is it? There it is. And I want to remove that. So. Again, remove all of the mod folders, what you should have remaining in your game here is, I'll just go ahead and take these out really quick because I do have backup, what you should have in your game folder, it should look like this after you've, re you've removed everything, so content 0 through 5 and game main. Now I'm just going to go ahead and put those back because I'm still going to be messing with them. I'm still going to be working on the Quatamundi and the Gray Fox a little bit. Um, won't release them, obviously, until after Tuesday, but I'm still going to mess with them because the coding is done. I just need to play with textures. So that is how you back up your saves. That is how you remove your mods. Come Tuesday and into Wednesday and next week, you will re-download all of these mods from the Nexus, put them back in, and go about your happy modded Planet Zoo playing life. 
but make sure that you do this. So thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you found this useful. I, I hope you found it informative. Uh, if you did, please go ahead and leave it a like. Comment down below if you run into any problems. If you have any issues, feel free to stop by the Zeusim Modding Discord. I'll drop a link below to that and go into the Planet Zoo Modding Help channel and ask any questions there. If you have anything that's really technical or you experience something really weird, just let us know. Uh, again, please be patient. We're going to try to get as many of our mods updated on Tuesday as possible. But as you can see, you know, I have a lot. Other modders, Line Rider, Leaf, have a lot. It's going to take time to work through all of these. Unfortunately, we do have to update each mod individually. So have patience. Know that we're working on it. Like first thing Tuesday morning is going to be update mod mode. So I will see you guys again on Tuesday.